Hello, friends. Happy Saturday evening. Sorry we're late, but I promise it's for a good reason. We are finally watching season three of Vox Machina. First episode was excellent, and I was mad that we didn't get to watch the second one. It'd be that way sometimes. just stopped working for some reason. So you think a barbarian's gonna be worse to deal with than a paladin? Yes, because I don't... Yeah, but I mean, we can try it. I mean... Here, you have got to speak with animals, right? I do. Come here. Uh, Alizon showed me a trick. Hopefully this is... The lever down there? This time. Oh, hey. This guy is alive. We treat the spiders real kind, man. Feed them the plumpest prisoners. Hmm. We probably should kill him. Let's go, kid. Yeah, it's important up here. You attacked someone. Only the guards are allowed to do that, as this one is about to demonstrate. She miss. I don't know. Yeah. We don't have a key. Maybe he has a key. Yeah, he had a key. There's also a lever. Here, go, go talk to the spiders. Yes, my desire. Closer, my I will wrap you and bind you and bite you and eat you. Well, what if I don't want that? I prefer the top one, but I have proficiency in the bottom one. <laughs> I do not know. The cruel and sharp, yes. Bindable and wrappable and biteable, yes. Uh, so, yeah, they should help us now. Do we go follow them? Uh, I think they'll wait for us to start the fight. No, no! <laughs> They have a cave mouth. Uh -huh. I was not looking at where the web is. What's inside? Really Just see anything here? Check out the cave mouth. I don't remember going in there. Oh. I don't think we did. Did you check Smithen's body? Oh yeah, yeah you did. Ooh. 
Well. Really auto pathing? Like it's it's visible. Why do you? <laughs> Gotta be this way. Is it dark down here? Oh, this is what's her name's rooms. There's nothing to do? Yeah. I guess not. Still alive, so that's progress. I can't even jump up there. Like okay. I have I have the ability to. It's just like there's no room. Well yeah, alright, yeah. I guess. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of spider eggs in here. Anything cool in the? Not really. Some little, little bit of valuable stuff. That's it. Hello. Symbol of Saluna. Oh, there's a chest over here. Where's the next one that you found? There's, it's, it's right next to the the eyes with, surrounded by the stars. Right here. It's not the same thing. What are you talking about? I don't think. Like that's... It 
won't budge. Huh. Okay. Can I attack it? Something's no. blocking it from the other side. Mm, oh, I know where that goes. Oh, okay. Also, for some reason, you're Carlock and separated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's because uh, Malaya's over there ready for the fight to start. Okay, I see. And I gotta put Carlock down on the ground. Yeah. And Malaya's gonna stay up here. Probably do the same with uh, Shadow Heart. So these guys are yellow right now. Um, mm -hmm. Last time they were red. So we might actually be able to get into a better position. Because I'm like inside the room. So I'm gonna have yeah. Milia go up the ladder in that room. Maybe save first. In case it triggers a conversation that turns into a fight. I didn't. Hooray. These boots have seen everything. Hold on. Is he standing directly under? Yeah. No, he's not. Danger sense. Interesting. Can't be blinded or incapacitated. This guy. Oh, he's a hobgoblin. Okay. Yeah, that's a barbarian thing. Okay. He gets an extra attack. Fast movement. can do extra damage. Yeah. This guy sucks. It sounds like I don't listen this to Shadow Heart. Didn't say anything about him being resistant to fire, so that's good. No, Ooh, you not I can enlarge. Melf's acid arrow. Uh, I have. Uh, Got scorching ray. Yeah, I get scorching ray. If you want to throw. Melf's. Well, I was going to say scorching ray. If you want to throw one of them at the ward room. The what? The ward room. That's oh. standing right next to him. Oh, I, I'm not particularly worried about that war drum. Okay. Just because we've killed most of the people. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So there's like. Oh, you know what? You know what? Uh, let's see. Shadow Heart. 
Uh, can we short rest before this fight? Where to? Oh, we already did. Uh, she doesn't have her replenish on it. Oh, I got too close. The shadow heart. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. The whole goblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You choke on black smoke as the hog goblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, Alcohol Deck, Shulkok Hank. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes. What if the creature noted your presence at the crash site? Responds, not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. Damn it! That tells me nothing! The memory fades, and the corpse awaits the next question. You freak! No games! Again, a vision comes to you. A memory seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand opening a holding pod. The merc clears to reveal a face. Yours. It can't be. You, your no true soul. It wasn't me. That's not what I wanted. Oh no. Scroll of charm person. That's not what you yeah. want. Lock. You did it. I had disconnected myself from Shadowheart, so yeah. I'll have her. Yeah. Well. You're right. You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses. Silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it! 
had nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Oh, no. Y you'll join her because I killed her. <laughs> Praise the absolute. Huh. There's two guys up here. Fertilize the field with thy knife. Rips and streaks will flow with their blood. Shadows don't suit me. Their city. You took a life. Now yours oh. will be taken in turn. A fair exchange, perhaps. Alright, well, that guy's dead. Malaya is uh. not in. None of us are like Shadow Heart's not in the middle of them. There we go. Ah, dang it. It's not my turn yet. I didn't think anybody I was hidden, so I didn't think anybody was. Oh, we didn't short rest. That's a boy. Sent Shadow Heart here for a short rest to use a short, short rest ability, but whatever. Well, in my defense, you, you got your point. <laughs> no. Yes, you did. I did get too close, but I also said we should short rest. Not after the cutscene. What does that do? What? Your music stuff. Oh, that's just how she casts spells. Oh.
being serious. There's nothing. I'll try that sooner next time. Light on my feet. Remember what for next time? Oh. Tasha. Pity's laughter. Brief respite. Also, the spiders did not help. They did not come in and help. So that's interesting. I'll come talk to him. Freedom. Oh. So maybe we need to draw the goblins out to get the spiders to help? I don't I really don't know. I don't know. Do you wanna have the conversation this time? the elf speaks another drow true soul oh. as if that weren't enough of you he doesn't speak his next word you ever talk to a dead squid now's your chance damn right I'm gonna make this carcass talk 
Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. Then take it. Absolute knows I am not getting anywhere. You read aloud the words on the scroll. Didn't even need you to roll for that. The corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Ragslin frowns at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Ragslin's suspicions. A true soul should never ask about the master. Oops. Again, a vision comes to you. A memory, seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. You're kidding me. Very helpful, Squid. Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you consider your final question. Yeah, there were five questions. Visions consume you once more. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high. Control panels melting. Flesh pots spilled open. Kithin. Wait! Ragslin pierces your mind, prodding for truth. You, you're no true soul. <laughs> sure I am. Can you beat a 10 with advantage? <laughs> I, I think I got it. Yeah. Yes, it seems likely. Yeah. You're right. You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses. Silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers. <sighs> that damned trout. Seems I ain't done with you. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grub. Praise the absolute. Do you have like an AOE something? Yeah, her her uh, channel divinity thing. up here? Yeah, that's a good idea. That way he has to pick one of us to attack, and if he chooses Karlak, I'll get a free attack on him. The honors you and slays our enemy. Can't give up now. Alright, go ahead. I thought Shadowheart was going first. Uh, Shadowheart goes quick anyways, and since they aren't registered as enemies, I'm not sure it'll hurt them. Okay. 
I got a crit. Nice. Oh, I can't use mouths anymore without hurting you. Hey, look. Look who's going first. Uh, here, let's... Bitely. And then use this. There. It looks a lot better. Advantage he got a crit. We gotta kill Raglan. Yeah, but I know what we're, we gotta do. And then go after Chief and Cleric. Some other spots. Okay. Two damage. If you want, Karlek theoretically could move. We need to kill him. Well. That does not have a good chance of working. Fuck. He's gonna get advantage on her. Killed 11, that was pretty good. Oh, right, because it was a second level spell slot. You only need to do three damage to him. I got one here. It's fine. I'm firing at disadvantage apparently, so it's not worth it. Got him. Close that up fast. 
Thank you. I'll go after the, the guy with the crossbow. We got up there. <clears throat> yeah. That's the one. <coughs> got him. Oh, broken? Uh, I guess I broke my paladin oath. What's your paladin oath? Huh. It'll be an interesting conversation. Uh, I'll have to double check. I mean, I'm Oath of the Ancients, but I don't know why... Killing him. Killing him would have been a problem. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if I broke the oath because I stole from him. For you, O horned chief. Feels bad, man. I mean, he's still got disadvantage on the next attack, so that helps. take armor of Agatha's damage, but yeah. Oh, that's the one to kill. Both the... Yeah, the Devout Cry. Resources might as well. You listening? Parchment pallid pillar. Best be on my way. Wonder what the various insults for that are. Yeah. 
something good here, I hope. Thanks. Have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. what I wanted to well, Apparently, I am encumbered. Simple enough. Ooh, Amulet of Salunas Chosen. So we should give that to Shadowheart, right? Oof. An ally you touch regains hit points, but possibly falls asleep. It's a... Oh, it's a cantrip. some gloves. I don't know if you'll like them or not. If you don't, send them to Carlock. Uh, I will send them to Carlock just because... Eh, no, for now they're fine. Send these to Carlock. Oh, scroll speak with dead. Well, we can always fight them ourselves. <gasps> ah! My key! Yeah, 
there's not a lot of people left here. Is there anybody left? I mean, there's the spiders, uh, there's the torturer. I don't know about anyone else. Do you want to fight the spiders or no? Particularly. Okay. We probably should go rest since you apparently broke your oath. I did break my oath. So it's gonna make me an oath breaker. Uh, oh. What? There's some goblins here apparently. Fooled by my hand. Uh, oh. She's gotta work good over here. Doing Shadow Heart. All right. Swap, swap, swap. Blood comes easy these days. I was gonna. I was leaving that body. Not for communal use, it seems. Beep. Best show some respect, or some more cunning. We didn't have to kill this guy last time. Uh, we don't have to fight him this time. Your stealing has caught someone's attention. What will you do? better at persuasion. I know, but... but it's like everybody else is dead here. Why do you think that is? Hey, you got it. You've been given the benefit of the doubt this time, but something tells you next time you won't be so lucky. Benefit of the doubt? Your light fingers have attracted attention. What the hell? It seems an explanation may be in order. Free Is it the third now, time? But your stories won't land so well if you're caught again. I can't even see the. Okay. I mean, we probably should just kill this guy. Probably. And let's see how close we go level up. Oh, I and we still for a need good 500 meal. experience. Pushing tempers to the limit. 
persist and things may get out of hand. No, these are pretty in hand. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it was attacking opening the combat with the actions the evil have not pack. gone unnoticed. If they persist, it seems they will not go unpunished. This guy is dying. Like he's <laughs> You wonder if what? I wonder if it was opening combat with uh, the barbarian. Because I attacked him, but he wasn't oh, hostile. Oh, I have no idea. It was just like some sort of delayed thing because of combat. Is there still something on this guy? No. Short sword. Switch back to the Leia and she goes, Is that blood? No, never mind. Oh. Like, yes, yes, it is. There's blood everywhere. Yeah, we are positively covered in it. Yeah, I really have no idea if it's these, like, clues that are supposed to be around the temple. Like, I, I, got, I got nothing. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Yeah. Okay, potion of healing. Thing that would have been stealing to take earlier, but since everyone's dead, right. it's not a crime. That's how crimes work, right? There are two people here still. All right, time to skulk about. At the front door. Oh, it's more than two. There's like four of them. Oh, uh, and you rolled the initiative. Oh, Carlac did. So this is. archer up each wall. I have added other individuals to the initiative yeah, tracker. Yeah, the people I was telling you about. They, they were going to add it anyway.
here and then a little bump. Oh. Wonder if the gods are watching me. You know, bunker down in this open hallway. Yeah, of course. Where else? I mean, right. it's clearly the most suitable. Go camp. Go camp. And then if we can leave this area without starting a fight, we should uh, head back to the grove to sell stuff. We can just... Here we go. Like, teleport out. Yeah, but it's a pain in the butt to get back. Uh, oh, only because... Uh, no, I... We didn't find any... Oh, okay, okay. We have to go solve the temple problem. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Uh... Go talk to your Oathbreaker friend. I didn't see him, but... Oh, there he is. Oh, he has he saw all of the auras. Yeah. <laughs> I have been waiting for you. I felt the moment of your liberation. The shedding of your bond. You called to me. I am here to show you the way. I was the first. The first to swear, the first to fall. When another's oath is broken, I stand witness. I hear their sorrow, I see their jubilation. I guide their hand, oath breaker. You swore to protect life itself. To serve the natural order, to protect those who value life and vanquish those who would destroy it. Tell me, why did you abandon your oath? A lapse in judgment. To know the reason for your fall is perhaps to know the shape of things to come. Take comfort in your undoing. I, like you, abandoned my cause. But much can still be achieved. Your oath is broken. The light within you fades. A new power is awakening. I served a noble lord. I fought for him without question or restraint. Where his light shone, my sword followed. In his name, I raised villages, put thousands to the sword. I believed our greater purpose 
required such brutality, such sacrifice, when his light was so radiant, it blinded me to all else. I could not see the darkness and corruption of the path he led me down. When I finally saw the truth, he would not be reasoned with. So... I ended him. For this, I was called Oathbreaker. Your character. <laughs> yeah. Regret is for those who would act differently. I feel no such desire. What's past is past. We are here to discuss your future. It is possible, but such a promise must not be made lightly. Wealth must be sacrificed. And your soul re-pledged. It is wise to first consider what is gained and what is lost in the bargain. Should you wish to do so, speak with me again. Darkness will obey your summons. The dead will march to your rhythm. Even now, these shadows gather around you. They sense the cracks in your armor. They yearn to be used, to be inflicted. You may refuse. But this alone will not restore what was lost. Without light to guide you, or darkness to consume, you will remain adrift, powerless. Mm. Until that day, I will be here, and my offer will remain. You are between worlds, Paladin. Have you made a ch- It is possible. First, you must pay the agreed price. Material sacrifice is required to prove your words have substance. Do you wish to pay? A thousand gold? There are less worthy objects demanding a far higher price. For redemption, this is no great ask. The gold must be paid. Uh, it suck. I guess. Go ahead. I'm sure we have it collectively. We do. We have like 5,000 between us. Well, then go ahead. The price is paid. It just Tell sucks. Me. Why do you wish to reclaim your oath? Because I didn't really want to abandon it in the first place. <laughs> Repairing what was damaged. Atoning for the past. Kneel, Oathbreaker. You swear to defend life itself, to protect all that is good and natural, and to repel wickedness wherever it threatens. The oath of the ancients is once more yours to fulfill.
So how do we not do that again? <laughs> I am genuinely unsure. <laughs> right, because you just killed that one random guy. I think yeah, he might just have been like a I just killed the guy in a fight. Uh, let, let me double check, because I know there are like a specific list. There's a specific list of people you can't kill. No, of things that, that cause violations for the oaths. Oh. Technically, uh, the acolyte might have been a kid. Uh, which acolyte? The one with the crossbow that I killed. Oh, also actions that guards do not like. So I'll have to be, be wary of that. that guards don't like we do that all the time so just I have to do it not oh. you <laughs> uh, so that you don't break your oath again yeah. oh. I so. okay well let's end the day yeah ooh whoa well what you appear undressed Nope, I've got, I've got sexy clothes I, I, I took Pintara's I'm aware, clothes. just... I, I noticed... But... Because of your particular skin tone... I'm like the distance I was zoomed out. I couldn't tell. <laughs> if I was dressed or not. Something's on my mind. Hey, Oathbreaker Knight. What have you got to say to me? Silent. Still. Nope. The Nothing. armor does not react to your presence. Let's see if Shadow Heart has anything to say. He doesn't want to talk to me. It was bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. I can scarcely <laughs> believe you actually inflicted another on yourself. Hmm. <sighs> 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 yeah, it was... I I'm not actually suggesting any of them. Yeah. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. That's fine. <sighs> fine. Just keep out of matters that don't concern you. Oh, wow. 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 Hey. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the Night and Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her. We've already had this conversation, we haven't about we? It. Yeah. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. Okay. Well. Sure. I'm okay. Yeah. How are you doing, Gail? Come on, then. Don't leave me in suspense. How are you feeling? No errant tentacles? No sudden cravings for a more cerebral diet?
<laughs> Replete with ribaldry as always. Well, you could provide no better proof that you are not, in fact, about to turn into a mind flare. <laughs> Famously humorless, Elithids. The tyrannical enslavement of all other living creatures hardly lends itself to levity. Should your wit begin to suffer, only then must we worry. Was there another matter you wish to discuss? Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. For a spell, yeah. Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I try to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Alright, bedtime. Yeah. Go to bed. Go. Ah. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsey knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute, and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. 
They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. through a ball held firmly in his mouth. Ah. No. What happened? He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. Same with scratch. His eyes track the ball avidly. He shuffles on his paws, ready to chase after it. Aw. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Oh, is it a unique item? Scratch his ball. Ah, <gasps> it is amazing. Says anything if I've got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Oh, he just said, Hope you're keeping well, friend. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guess I'll send it back to you. What oh, squeaks? What do you interact with it? Right. Uh, I'm gonna head to the grove. Do you want to use another tadpole? No, I'm okay for now. Oh, Shepard wants to talk, apparently. Okay, wait. 
Also, yeah. you have more reputation with Shadow Heart than I do somehow. I don't even know how to like check that. Where uh, are you? Oh, you already traveled. Yeah, I already Wait, traveled. I told you not to go because you said it. I uh, no, I. She wanted to talk to me after I left. But, but why did you leave? I told you we have to go find the fast travel. First. Oh. There's something I've been wanting to share with you, if now's a good time. <laughs> you can't de decide between one and three. Yeah. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I'm sure. I trust you. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. She asked my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. You remember that it is common amongst Saluna's followers to send their children into the woods alone, a rite of passage to find their way home. Perhaps this one has gone awry. <clears throat> Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her. Which was often. <laughs> Abuse. Abuse. Nonsense. The Mother Superior made me strong. For the Dark Lady. I'm kind of surprised you went with that one. Eh. Two journal updates available? Oh... Uh, hold on. Oh, we should. Oh, right, because we rescued. Yeah, we should have gone and talked to Halton. Uh. I apologize. I done fucked up. Yeah, and now we're gonna trigger. <sighs> Ugh. 
I mean, we can head back. Oh, no, we can't. Yeah, uh, we can. Kill the more goblins. When, when did we save last? I'm not loading. Because you got... A scout just reported. The goblins' leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. Oh. I believe he's catching up with Korga. As for us... <laughs> no armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Like we just rested. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Yeah. Of course. Oh, there he is. Only 500 gold? Who am I going to sell all this shit to? Javelins to Karlak? I've sent some javelins to Karlak. She has four, but she has a returning pike. Oh. Okay. Uh, do you want these javelins back, or can I sell them? You can sell them, it's fine. May you keep balance. Oh, oh, oh. 
I'm done trading. took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay. But consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Halcyon. <laughs> she shows great insolence. But time will humble her, and the grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. The journey to Moonrise Towers, and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. To them, they are our guests until they wish to leave, as I said the day they arrived. But they blinded you to truth. Outsiders bring only chaos. And what have you? Oh, rat. Little too rat. You've done it. You brought Halcyn back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The grove will be whole again. Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Oh, yeah. Jet Hart's gonna love that. Yeah, well, this way, Shadow Heart. You don't have to go near the. Oh, there is another cat outside. They came to say hi to Asuki at the door. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Goodies. Sorrow, huh? A beautiful glaive. 
So why does touching it give me a knot in my stomach? Robe of summer. Uncommon clothing. Just regular clothing? Yeah. Grants resistance to cold damage. I think I'll send that to Carlac. No! Gosh darn it. Druid note. Well, Carlac looks silly now. <laughs> uh, did that drop her AC at all? Shouldn't have. It's not armor. Oh yeah, you're right. Her AC is 15. Well, what it's got I don't plus know... two from her con. <laughs> what I yeah, what I don't know is if um, she has resistance to cold already. No, she's got resistance to fire. Okay, well now she has both. Neat. I would not have thought to give her something like that. Also, what's what sorrow got? Uh, again, a cantrip. Sorrowful lash. Right. Oh, that's really good. That's oh. amazing. Oh. I'd say we move to the goblin, or towards the goblins, not actually teleport in there. Village. I went to the Blighted Village, yeah. Um, okay. I was heading towards the bridge so that I remember where I was going. I'm heading that way. Did I go the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way. So you're heading towards the bridge? Yes. Oh, yeah, there you are. Twitch. We are sleepy parents, so we're gonna go to bed. <laughs> yep. We'll see you tomorrow.